Hello, Mark. Uh, my name is Karthik. I'm from uh, Social Blood. Uh, we're also a proud partner of internet.org in India. Uh, uh, I've worked in the blood banking industry for a while now, and uh, I'm asking this question on behalf of all the people working on the problem globally. Facebook uh, has been really active in uh, helping solve really big social problems like the organ donations and uh, helping to find missing children uh, through Amber Alerts and recently uh, the suicide prevention tool. And uh, Mark, you proved that Facebook is not just a tool just to connect with people, but also a tool that lets the community uh, uh, to, to do good in the world. And uh, my question is, um, is Facebook, will Facebook in the future take up the challenge of blood donations and help solve a problem that is affecting millions of people around the world? Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of problem that we want to work on or work with partners who, who are working on it, like your organization, I think, is doing amazing work. So thank you for that. Um, you know, one of the big types of, of social good projects that Facebook tries to take on are ones that require coordinating um, a large number of people. So for example, um, when a lot of folks were worried about the Ebola epidemic that was spreading, um, we used Facebook to be able to raise a bunch of money to help out. Uh, th that's the type of thing that, you know, being able to get something in front of people and, and um, coordinate a handful of people to have a response was, was pretty helpful. Um, another example is, you know, unfortunately sometimes there are disasters, right? I mean, earthquakes, typhoons, that kind of thing. And one thing that we built was the ability for people to coordinate in a crisis, right? Because what you, the first thing you want to know if um, you hear that there's been an earthquake or some natural disaster in a city is, are the people I care about okay, right? Or is my family okay? Or are my, are my close friends okay? And that's a coordination problem too, right? So rather than having everyone have to call every other person, we created this board where everyone can just go and say, I'm cool, right, I'm okay. And then all the people that, that they care about can go and see that and you know, they might see the updated news feed or they might just be able to go to the board and see which of their friends and the people that they care about have responded. Um, you know, raising money for different organizations is similar. Um, and that's something that I, that I think we've empowered a lot of different folks to be able to do through Facebook. And, and we're, we're planning on doing more there as well. Um, and, and even things like Amber Alerts, um, helping find um, children who have, who have gone missing or have been kidnapped, that's something that you can crowdsource pretty well because, you know, there's a good chance that someone in the region has seen something. And if, if um, they can tip off the police, then that gives a much better increase, uh, a much um, increased chance of finding the person. Um, so there are all these things like this. And, you know, blood donations and bone marrow donations follow the same pattern, which is their, their coordination problems, um, especially bone marrow, where you need someone who's a very specific match um, for, for your own body. So that, that is the kind of thing that we would love to be able to help out on. Um, we're really proud that we're supporting your organization with internet.org in India, and um, if we can help out more in the future, we would love to.